I think it's Star Trek Discovery. Is Discovery, the first, it may be, yeah. That's the first one they did, right? I think so. And then they did Picard, and now they have another one called Strange New Worlds or something? Strange like? New Worlds. I think that's the one that's going to have Commander Pike. Maybe yeah. that's it, yeah. I wish them luck, but I think the biggest handicap they have is that they got the wrong guy as the showrunner, like Kurtzman oh, yeah. guy. It's the same guy that did the Mummy movie. Yep. And, uh, you know, I don't know why they picked him. I don't know how he managed to get that job. I have no idea. He must but, have had a, he must have pitched him a really good idea and then didn't follow through with it. I guess. <laughs> well, he has some, he has some talented writers. Uh, uh, one of the guys, I forget his name, the author, uh, about that superhero novel that won the Pulitzer Prize or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he's one of the writers on Picard. Uh, but, uh, and, and as we've said before, I, I, as I've said before on previous episodes, I don't really watch these things. I just watch Rebel Letter Media's that's, reviews. That's what I do. I just watch them talk about Picard. <laughs> I, I get it. I get the gist of it from that. And, yeah. And I'd rather that they suffer rather than I have to suffer. Yeah. All that. Yeah. We can just look at the clips that they put up. <laughs> but the world being in the shape that it's in now, I'm practically on the verge uh, on a moment by moment basis. I have to find a reason to not just jump out of a window or <laughs> yeah. cut my wrists. <laughs> So the last thing I want to do is be putting on the, the sort of terrible, uh, depressing, grim, sophomoric uh, garbage that uh, that they've been turning out lately. I hope I didn't put that too strongly. I hope I didn't offend yeah. anybody. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's fine. It's just that I, you know, it's not, not for me. It's not for everybody. Yeah. I, I want to see an adventure. Yep. I don't want uh, this grim dark stuff. I want to see more of Andrea the Android. <laughs> well, who was he from I, I that was the that was the the woman from the uh oh yes 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 well i'm surprised she doesn't have a her own show but yeah, uh, they're digging through the archives <laughs> that'd be a good one to bring back i'm waiting for the for them to bring back that funny poodle yeah uh, with the emony and with the little antenna oh yeah ah. had, the, had the unicorn <laughs> unicorn horn on it yes yes <laughs> that's what i'm waiting for yeah a show that's just that pool and a bunch of tribbles. Yep. And what that they'll do is though they'll uh they'll just recreate that exact thing in CGI. <laughs> 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 they'll just create a dog in a costume in CGI. Well, that's probably you're probably right about that. Because <laughs> you know there aren't any poodles anymore. There anymore, yeah. You can't get that costume. Nobody can make that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad they don't have any behind the scenes footage of them shooting the poodle scene. Uh, yeah. How they could provoke the poodle to being vicious. What is it, Scotty? Transporter breakdown, sir. Continue circuit testing. We beamed up this animal and now look for yourself. It's in this special case. <laughs> and, yeah. A vicious poodle with antenna and a, and a unicorn horn. Yeah. See how many times it peed and shit on Leonard <laughs> Nimoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be worth uh, I know they do it.